So this past week, Tyler Patton and I were in the rain at the Habersham Harvest Festival. Watch this story. We are here at the Habersham Harvest Festival with Patrick Kelly, who is one of the gentlemen that got this started 11 years ago. Patrick, it's not a really good day, <laughs> but it looks fantastic. Yeah, it's not a great day today. Uh, we've been very fortunate, though, 11 years, and um, I think we've only had a slightly misty day maybe twice, so uh, I guess maybe we were due. But uh, the good thing is we have uh, stretched it to two days over the last couple of years, so tomorrow the weather's looking great, so we're expecting uh, some big crowds tomorrow. Now, you said that you were on the Merchants Board, got this started uh, 11 years ago, so what was your vision? Well, uh, a small team of us uh, started it 11 years ago to try to kind of start an annual festival, and um, it was very humble beginnings. Uh, we just had a couple of vendors, a couple of farmers out, uh, and maybe a hayride. We didn't have all the rides, and it's, it, we had about 600 people that came out, and we've grown to about 8,000. So, and this whole community is very unique, very special, very different. Yeah, Habersham is built uh, on the principles of the way towns used to be built. Um, so instead of building a sub subdivision, it's kind of like building a, a new town. Oh, well, yeah. thank you, Patrick Kelly with Habersham. And on Sunday, the weather's going to be much better, I'm sure. I am now with Mrs. B. Welcome. I'm Thank so glad you. that we're here today talking about honey and all your products. Thank okay. you. Well, we, we are beekeepers, my husband Will and I. Uh, we keep bees here in the neighborhood in Habersham as well as in northern Beaufort County. We have about 45 hives that we tend and collect honey from. How did you get started? I actually was a beekeeper in Ohio years ago. My daughter was little and I was looking for a hobby that we could enjoy together, something different than all her friends were doing. Um, and she really enjoyed it for a couple of years, but I kept going with it. So I ended up moving south and eventually got out of it for a while, but I moved to Habersham and I wanted to get back into beekeeping. And at the same time, I met my husband, who was a neighbor, and I convinced him Convenient. That he wanted to be a beekeeper. And he decided, okay, that would be a lot of fun. So we became beekeepers again together. And so you have interesting products. You know, share a little bit about what you have here, Miss B. We have our Beaufort neighborhood honey, which is comes from the hives all over the Beaufort. But from that, we also make honey butter honey mustard, we make whipped honey, we have hot honey, which is a little spicy. We have um, honey in honeycomb, little squares of honeycomb, um, and that's really about it. We also, oh, our newest yeah, and this, product. Yeah, that's interesting. Take one of those, right. We're making um, beeswax food wraps, which are a great replacement to uh, plastic. So these will mold over, oops. oops. So let's say you have a piece of cheese or whatever and you can just, you mold it over. Exactly. Mold it over cheese oh, or an avocado or a cut apple. There's a, and like a... Yes, okay. here's an example of, over a leftover dish. Um, and they will mold, the heat of your hand will mold it to whatever. And so this is your fourth year at the Harvest Festival. And the first year we only sold honey. The second year we added some of our products, honey butter and honey mustard. Um, and this year we have a variety of things. So. Well, it's so good to meet you it's and thank you so much for talking you. with us. Thank you. Well, right. we enjoy what we're doing and do. love keeping bees. So. Thank you, Mrs. B. You're welcome. And a big thank you to our guests contributors, our communications manager, Latia Nelson, and the production team behind the scenes, Gustavo Ratia and Tyler Patton, and most of all to you, our viewers. And that's the way it is this week in our Low Country Gem of the South. I'm Robin Zimmerman, and we'll see you next time on the Buford News.